already welcome back to the channel this is alfred let's go ahead and get started so for this lesson the main goal today is to bind this is probably not a good place to show this let me let me bring up this so i believe the last lesson was ui i believe um so binding text actually the last lesson was binding text so we did plan we did you graphic user interface and we did binding text uh i guess let me go ahead and just double click and create basically creating a new version of this so for this for today we will be doing bind, binding pick and uh, or color and color picture and color for it all right thumbnails in second still the same let's go ahead and do let's leave it as is so we would like to bind this color right here essentially this not this text color but the background color the background color and this being able to upload this picture here so let's go ahead and get started so in order to get the picture in we would like to hook this upload picture so that we can use file explorer to find the picture so let's go ahead and call this um content uh, we already have the content it might not want me to do that so command i'm going to call it open file command open file command and I usually like to put BTN here. Just a habit that I got from WinForm application. Control C. Already, so now we need to bind this to the view model. So remember, we, this is our page, our thumbnail page. And this is, we need to bind this to the view model. So this is our view model. All right, so you know what? Let me do this a slightly different way. And this is the first time I'll be using this. Um, let's go ahead and do a public call here. Let's go ahead and do a public call right here. Um, I command. I don't think I have that as a namespace. So now remember I copied it so I'm, I just pasted it in there so let's do a new delegated command delegate command All right, let's encapsulate this with a try catch tab tab. All right. So what is going on here? It's screaming. The type delegated command could not be found. Are you missing an assembly? Maybe I am. All right, installing the package prism. That seems like it's to solve our issue. So it needed the namespace prism. And this is the namespace here, prism commands. All right, let's see how that works out. So now we want to obviously 
get our open file dialog package so let's see how that works We want to filter the the file to image files. All right, we want to see all the PNG files, and we want to see all the JPEG files. Dot JPEG files. So close that the bracket and I believe yeah that's it and do the same thing essentially PNG then filter out by the JPEG JPEG files however you want to call it so now we want to if dialog dot show dialog uh, show dialog is equals to true now we can open the file but before I do that let me see if this works because I have not used that prism before. I typically do it the old fashioned way of I command and creating the can uh, can execute. So it did open on my second screen. Now let's go ahead and click this upload picture. Oh, it works beautiful okay all right it, it did upload the picture which means that which means that um, this i command delegate worked and it needed this present so we will we will use this for now for this tutorial typically what i what i do is um create an i command like um public i command then I put not delegate. I put in the um, BTN. Um, let's say open file command. Then I will create. I will initialize it uh, in in the constructor um, here. CT CT CTR dot dot. Uh, CTR dot dot should create my constructor. C T O dot dot. Yep. So that's my constructor. Then here I will initialize that I command, and then again I will also have to create a command folder here to add, you know, my I command helper, but. I'm glad that I don't have to do that. That actually saves me some. Using this delegate saves me some time. However, that meant that I had to get this namespace. But it just works. Let's just keep going. Um, I will deal with the consequences later. <laughs> so now that we can select the file dialog box, obviously we should be able to get the file name and uh, all that fun stuff. Uh, but let's see so show dialog boss so now let's go ahead and you know what let's not do this image source here or oh, let's just change this to string selected image fun selected image file name so let's control C and add that. 
add that, add that, add that. So now this should be string. So now we can change the file name here. Selected image file name. So now we can say that um, uh, dialog is equals to dialog file name. Yep. So given this, uh, I'll, I'll leave this for now. I'll leave this catch for now. But given that we change this, so let's copy this. Let's go to our page. Now we could call this um, our source. I believe this is expecting a string binding binding then that then we also need stretch we want it uniform all right all right let's see if this does anything so as a matter of fact this is binded to the open file command and after when i click on it this will actually change this selected file name all right that should be good let's try this or uh, before we do that let me find a picture a good picture to use um, this will be a good picture to you. So let me save this picture somewhere. Uh, you know what? Let's do it this way. Snip it. I am going to save it somewhere on a human desktop is fine. I will say YouTube. All right. So let's go now we can run this program i love this i am not trying to do a tutorial i am just trying to write this code <laughs> so you get a raw footage of what's going on so youtube right here perfect it works all right so i didn't need to go all the headache of those extra steps i just needed to change the source to a name and it works really well so now let's go ahead and move on to the color picker. I am going to, I don't think I need to do any cleanup. Um, everything looks okay. Yep, it looks okay. No need for any cleanup so far. So let's go ahead and do the color picker. All right, for our color picker, let's go ahead and create. So we are, remember we are dealing with, we're dealing with the head, the header color and the footer color all right let's create a let's create the first one first so prop prop full then hit tab tab and it should give you the type should be a solid color brush and we let's call this ctrl z let's call ctrl z z let's call this um header um color all right let's call this capital h color all right so now we can control c control v control v so now we have this as our color header color so let's go back to our view and this is this should be our header color and we should call it uh let's finish up with this first let me add the magic line of code on property changed Color. All right, so so now we can go back to our page and we can rename this to something more exotic. Um, selected color, selected 
Whoa, what's going on? All right, select selected color. Here we go. Binding, we want it to be header color, right? Remember I had it in my clipboard. I just hit Control V to paste it. So now that we have this as our color, we can go ahead and put our background here, right? So background color should be binding and it should be essentially the same name part is equals to header color all right i want to test this out to see if that works so let's run it before doing the footer color all right come on all right so now we can select a color here and select it here and that did not work oh bummer let's let me do so let me try something let's put a two-way mode here mode oh mode two-way all right let's try this again and that's um and this header color is a solid color brush so it should technically work let's let's try this let me remove this part i use i don't know why I, I put that part there all right let's try that still nothing still nothing all right so something is not something is not being hooked up correctly so let's go here i believe this is let me make sure that this is hitting this code okay so when i change this it does not it does not hit this code which is not cool so why is it not being triggered there okay let me try this different property color color all right let's try that i think this is gonna work haha <laughs> No, it's not actually. It's not being, it's not triggering the property change whenever I change it. So that's not good. I don't like that. Let me add something here um, on the what on here picker on here. Let's try. Update source trigger property change. Let's see. Yeah, I did not like that. Oh, that worked. All right, this worked. So now when I change this, it did change it in fact. So this worked. Interesting. So now we need to make sure that the background is also working although. All right, so at least now this is triggering. All right, let's close out of this. Uh, let me reassess myself.
so it looks like I will need to convert this color type to a solid color brush so let's let's try this so in here do it kind of like do it the harder way um, header color um, text box let's just say let's just call this text box okay bear with me here so whenever let's see let, let's bear with me here so now this is a text header box it will basically make our code a little bigger but at least I could solve this issue right away <laughs> so let's go ahead and create a prop fufu full or oh, prop full tap tab so now I need a uh, I think I need a brush or something I need something but my I need a solid color brush then my will be a small letter T and the, the big one will be this right so now on property change on property change all right but but um that will trigger however whenever i change my header color on 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 color change color picker change on color picker change so i want to have like a, a method here that basically changes the this color this property here so control dot generate all right so now i could just return basically set the text um header color is equals to um solid brush uh, then put in the header color i think this should work all right um uh, cannot be used like a method what Mm, let's try this if is is color color I'm, I'm not I'm not spelling my spelling is out right now so let's go ahead and call this color there what? How about let's say brush? I basically, want to convert the color type to a a brush type, which is I believe is what text box background I expect to get solid. You know what, how about if I do this color header color dot to huh. convert. All right, so I guess let's see it's equals to new solid brush what that's all I needed to do just remove that remove that all right let's see if that works so now text header color is now which is this text header color is now all right let's see if that works it's um, a little bit more code but just thinking about it, it should work
it should work yep let's try that again so let's run it and see if that works that was that was awful so now when you select this it should work uh, this is not hooked up yet so let me go ahead and hook up the footer color uh footer color will be this uh, it will essentially be um it will essentially be the same thing here but with small name changes so now this will be footer color footer color all right so let's put capital letter there so we are consistent so now for here actually let me just copy what i have here background so let's go here i should have just done this before but i wanted to do i wanted to go the easy route or the more sophisticated route that's what i get for trying to do it more sophisticatedly all right so now we will have essentially have to uh, wow we we'll basically have like duplicate this uh, i don't like that but that's i guess that's what's needed lots of code yeah i think this is why all this that i'm about to do now this is why i wanted to go the the other route so now um this will be put uh going to see to see put uh Mm. All right, Ctrl C, Ctrl V on on footer color change. Ctrl C, Ctrl V footer. Yeah, this is this is definitely not how I like to write code, if I'm being honest. Definitely, it's just a lot of repetition here. Let me let me. So this is footer footer. So this is going to be footer. Uh, control C. Hopefully, I did not miss Control C. Hopefully, I did not miss anything. So now let's change this header. Control C. Control V. So let me go back to that footer one. Footer. 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 Footer, 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 footer. Footer, 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 footer. All right, that should do it, I think. All right, now we can select this, select this. That still not working. Okay why is it not working so footer color control c go to the page go to the page go to here footer oh right here footer color i, I called it hooter what is that is that a hooter what is hooter all right um let's test it one more time 
All right, I don't think it will work, but let's see. Ah, it's still not working. Okay, so this is footer, source property change, select foot text dot footer control C. Let's go back here. And make sure that make sure that I'm, I have the same name footer. Yeah, that's the same text footer. All right, so uh, why is it? What is that? What is this? Property change? Yeah. Huh. All right. All right, so let's so let's go back here. So right now, I don't think this is triggering. Let's go to here, text footer, text, uh, oh, this should be footer. I think this should be footer color. Text, oh, footer. Text, header, color. What? Huh. 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 Oh, why am I changing this? That was already binded a long time ago. So this is footer. Yeah, I should be concentrated on this binding, not on this. All right, so binding. Text header color. Text footer color. Footer color. Header color, all right. Update trigger property change. All right, that looks good. Header color, uh, header color, header color. So that's the header color, header color, footer color, footer color, footer color, footer color, and footer color change solid footer color. Who's the color? Alright. Alright. That should be. Okay, I don't know what I changed, but I think this will work now. Yeah, here we go. Wow, okay, now I can pick up a picture. And we are hooked up. All the picture is hooked up, the color is hooked up. I believe we will stop right here. That was a, a, a tough one to, for today. Um, the, the color picking made it very very tough so now we can pick picture put it here change the color to our control whatever color we would like and we can have all kinds of design for our thumbnail all right let's go ahead and wrap up for today thank you for bearing and uh, following this excruciating journey for this um, project all right, thank you and have a wonderful day.